everyone, and welcome back to our birthday giveaway. I am joined by Miss Lauren Leroy, AKA Little Miss Funeral, and also my dear friend and owner of Nationwide Burial at Sea, Miss Donna Capera. Donna, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about who you are and what it is that you do in the funeral service industry. Certainly, and good morning. Yes, my name is Donna Capra, and I provide Nationwide Burial at Sea. Primarily, it's those families that wish to charter vessels to do ash scatterings. Um, and I work with families individually as well as funeral homes and funeral directors. Donna, I have to tell you that I have been looking through your website in preparation of today's birthday giveaway, and I just think that the service that you provide to people is so unbelievably amazing and something that a lot of people are interested in and maybe just don't know where to go. And as a funeral professional, um, sometimes I feel like we don't know who to turn to in order to make these wishes of a family um, come to life for the disposition of their loved ones. So having the service, I just think is a totally amazing thing. So I just want to let you know that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's a very rewarding, um, the ability to add closure to uh, a family's desire to meet the wishes of their loved one, when in so many cases, they never thought it possible. There's a misnomer out there that burial at sea is only for military personnel. Um, that's now changing. People are becoming more aware of the fact that yes, anyone can be buried at sea, cremated remains. Also full body burials, uh, which I do not personally do, but have had experience with. And that's a growing segment as well, full body burials. But primarily, I work with families that uh, wish to do ash scatterings at sea. Um, and one of the things that I provide and folks don't know about is a scattering tube or a biodegradable urn. And I have one here, and this is going to be part of my giveaway. You know, see it. So it's a plain cylindrical container. Many families, when they tell their funeral director that they want to do a burial at sea, are given the temporary container. And that, of course, is just the, uh, the plastic box with the cremated remains in a um, plastic bag. So certainly you can imagine being out at sea, the wind is blowing and you try to turn this bag upside down. It's just not going to work, nor is it ceremonious. So I do provide the scattering tube. Um, the, the funeral director would uh, provide this to the family by transferring the remains. And it's easy to hold point down and away from you while you are on the vessel. Um, what you don't see here is that there are holes under this piece of paper. And so if you didn't want to scatter, this entire urn can go into the water as a biodegradable. Uh, and there are many other beautiful uh, urns on the, on the market today, soft urns and all different kinds of uh, configurations and shapes like uh, seashells and excuse me, all the time. Uh, but that's uh, one of the products that I provide to my clients. And in fact, that's gonna be in the birthday giveaway. That's amazing. So for today's rules, the same rules are going to apply as have uh, applied for our entire birthday giveaway thus far. You have to be subscribed to both Joelle and my YouTube channel, and we will put the links for that in the description bar below. You have to like both of our videos on both of our channels, and then you are going to be answering this question that Donna is going to ask all of you. Certainly. My challenge question is, what would you say is the greatest challenge to planning a burial at sea? That's a really good question, Donna. I personally, I have never arranged a burial at sea. I don't think I have, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. But I would think it would be coordinating the vessel. What about you, Lauren? I think that it would be the exact same thing that you said, Joelle, because um, to be quite honest, I don't know much about burial at sea except for what I've read on Donna's website because I myself have never had to do a burial at sea. So I also know that, I believe I know, that you have to be so many nautical, nautical knots away from a shoreline in order to do a burial at sea. So I just guess making sure you're in the right spot to do it as well. 
Uh, well, thank you so much for joining us today, Donna. Um, can you let us know exactly where uh, we can find you online? Yes, I am at Nationwide Barry Let's See, and also on my Facebook page, Nationwide Barry Let's See. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Leave your comments in the comment section below for John Donna to choose the winner. We'll see you tomorrow.